This neighborhood is known for its nightlife and restaurants. Now it's getting known for these ads plastered on these bus stops. Some say it creates an unsafe, sketchy environment for women. Overreaction? You take a look and decide. Good news is all of this should be cleaned up by 6 o'clock. These guys behind me have been working hard for the past hour pretty much. And the call came in about 4.30 and all the mess is from this tree. Good morning, ladies, and what a beautiful morning to be here. Such a beautiful backdrop we have. And we're joined now live with a photographer who takes people out and gives them tips on how to take pictures of these beautiful blossoms. How are you, Mr. Luria? I'm fine, thank you. We begin tonight with breaking news. You might call it surprise breaking news. North Korea's top government body is proposing high-level nuclear and security talks with the United States. And good morning, Co. Hey, Mike and Andrea. Well, it's a good morning, but bad news for our conveners. Well, Metro is supposed to be a major player of this project behind us. Now that they're reportedly backing out, we're wondering who's going to pitch in and help pay for the project. They're still struggling to deal with the laws. As we take a look tonight, people are just starting to stream in into this field at Rockville High School. There are a lot of balloons, a lot of hugs, and a lot of tears. You can really see the sadness in people's eyes. You can also feel the love that people had for Michelle. Heartbreak. It's written all over this mother's face. The sudden loss of her daughter, Michelle Miller, just too difficult to grasp. Overcome with grief, she had to be taken to the hospital. The pain is shared by this community who came out to remember the Rockville High senior. This is just to show how much we all really did love Michelle Lynn Miller. She's the best person I've ever known. Her father spoke in public for the first time, thanking everyone for their support. Life's never going to be the same for me. My life is torn apart, but thank you. The fact that all you came here to show how much you love my daughter. The honor student and star athlete had dreamed of becoming a counselor to troubled vets, a dream cut short. Kevin Miller says late Sunday his daughter went over to Staff Sergeant Adam Arndt's home because he seemed suicidal. Police believe the military recruiter ended up shooting Miller in the head before killing himself. We asked police if there was a motive. They're still trying to figure out why. Now, Michelle's grandmother wants to get Michelle a full military funeral with honors. And I think she's a hero because I, as far as I'm concerned, she gave her life trying to save someone else's. Loved ones say she was as bright as these balloons. They hope she's smiling down from above. I'm struggling with the feelings I have toward this man who took this bright light from the world. I believe in forgiveness. I hope someday I can forgive him. Michelle will be remembered in a positive light here. Her dad told us that she had already done so much in her 17 years. Reporting from Rockville High School, Co-M, WUSA 9. Big storm, widespread impact. And now we take you to Northwest D.C. where we find our Co-M who saw several downed trees uh, in your travels around the city. Good evening, Leslie, and what a wild weather day, as all of us put it. As Derek mentioned, there was a car and a tree. The tree won. Take a look at this. Thankfully, no one was inside when this tree came down early this afternoon on 18th Street Northwest. But today was an eye-opener for many as the storm rolled through. Take a look at some of the pictures that my colleagues and I saw throughout the day. Whoa, look at that new image. That is very, very scary. Even look our first alert chief hail. meteorologist Topper Shutt was shocked by this fast moving activity. Sky 9 saw some strange formations in the skies. So did our viewers who snapped pics across the stormy DMV. Check out this time lapse of a moody, perhaps angry Mother Nature. Those clouds would bring sudden downpours and lightning bolts. Southern Maryland Weather and News even spotted this baseball sized hail in St. Mary's. And a lot of people saw downed trees everywhere. There was a wall of water coming this way, a wall of water coming this way, and they were literally colliding in the air. It was like nothing. There was an actual wave of water. As we were watching, the tree came from the back corner of her house, lifted up, and just slammed down into her house. Um, the boom was deafening, and it shook the house. Most of them, though, were just close calls with minor damage and no major injuries. But then there was also this, a rainbow in the calm after the storm. So we saw a lot of pictures of downed trees today. We want to thank all of the viewers who 
sent us their pictures through Facebook and Twitter. We certainly appreciate it. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest updates. For now, we're live in Northwest Co-Am WUSA 9. Yeah, some remarkable images came in through our social media channels. Thank you, Co. Hello, I'm Ko Im. We begin tonight with breaking news. You might call it surprise breaking news. North Korea's top government body is proposing high-level nuclear and security talks with the United States. This comes days after a planned meeting with rival South Korea collapsed. North Korea's National Defense Commission says the talks with the U.S. should ease tensions and achieve peace and security on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea has been threatening war since it was hit with U.N. sanctions. The sanctions were imposed after the North launched a rocket, then followed that up with a nuclear test in February. Elsewhere tonight, a scare on board a plane that left Egypt bound for New York. A threatening note was found on the Egypt Air flight. Erica Ferrara reports British fighter jets were dispatched to escort the plane to the ground at the nearest airport. We talked with the district manager who says he doesn't know when the restaurant will reopen. Police say charges against the driver are pending. A four-year-old Dundalk, Maryland boy is dead after being struck by a taxi cab. Baltimore County police say four-year-old Anthony Saring was hit as he walked into Liberty Parkway from between two parked cars Friday night. He died a short time later at the hospital. The driver of the cab did remain at the scene. Police say they're still investigating exactly what happened. The images of that big train derailment in Baltimore last month were very dramatic. Now, taped recordings of the 911 calls have been released. Armando Troll has been sifting through those calls and reports those calls are just as dramatic as the videotaped scenes of the crash. The District of Columbia kicked off its summer recreation programs today. Live entertainment, free health screenings and demonstrations were all a part of today's 2013 One City Summer event at RFK Stadium. Mayor Gray says the city will have something for everyone this summer. Amid a crowded weekend schedule, the mayor remained coy on the question of whether he's actively campaigning for another term in office. No, I'm out doing what the things that a mayor should do, uh, and that is, uh, you know, being out with people. I love to be with people. The things that I'm doing are the things, same things I've been doing since the uh, day I was sworn in. Any closer to a decision? Not yet. The mayor says there will be 15,000 young people participating in the district's summer youth employment program this season. Council members Bowser, Evans and Wells have launched their campaigns to try and replace Gray in office. We're learning tonight that one of this area's best known federal judges has passed away. 76-year-old Thomas Penfield Jackson sat on the bench in U.S. District Court here in Washington. In 1988, he fined former presidential aide Michael Deaver $100,000 for lying about his lobbying activities. Two years later, in 1990, Jackson presided over the trial that convicted D.C. Mayor Marion Barry of cocaine possession. Four years after that, he ordered Senator Bob Packwood to give the Senate Ethics Committee his personal diary, which contained details of the senator sexually harassing his staff. Thirteen years ago, Judge Jackson ruled that Microsoft was a monopoly. Judge Thomas Penfield died of complications from cancer at his home in Compton, Maryland. He is survived by his wife, Patricia King Jackson. Still ahead tonight on WUSA 9, the beach weekend in Ocean City gets off to a violent start. And firefighters finally catching a break battling the most destructive wildfire in Colorado state history. Stay with us.